Thomas Smith. Good morning, Thomas. How are you doing, Judge? Who's this with you, Thomas? It's my close friend. Your close friend? 20 years. All right. You're his close friend. I am. Now, my question to you is, is he your close friend? I believe so. We oh, are pretty. Lo- so. Oh. We are very loyal. Oh, okay. <laughs> loyal. I just want to make sure this is a reciprocal arrangement. <laughs> Sometimes you're my close friend. Say, my close friend. I don't even know you. We met twenty something years ago. Oh, I was going to say, did you guys meet in the car? I didn't. I don't know. No, no. I met at a truck no. stop. <laughs> working. You met working. at a truck stop. No, working. Inspector Quinn. <laughs> Inspector Quinn. We have a very interesting case We work here. the same job. <laughs> he says they met at the truck stop 27 years ago. <laughs> Stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> well, the motor vehicle has been booted. Yes. Right? There, are, um, there are five unpaid violations here. Three of now, them. Wait, who drives the car? You or her? I do. What is your first name? Lorraine. Lorraine. Mm-hmm. Now, Lorraine, like, let me ask you a question. Like, why are you here? To help him out, he ta- Thomas has been through a lot in the last th- three months financially and where he lives. Um, it's a lot of the reasons why he wasn't able to pay the tickets. He's not doubting that he was incorrect with his actions, but um, if you understood where he lived in the area of town where he lives, there is absolutely no parking. He is disabled. Um, he did want, at one point have a disabled plate, but he's not even able to afford the the down paint or the fee that you, for the yearly fee, whatever it is. But um, if you understood where he lived, Your Honor, there's absolutely nowhere to park. There's Union tickets Ave. <laughs> on Union Ave. It's a very so bad area. I live in a drug house, might as well call it. Very, very bad area. <laughs> in the process to help the situation here, um, my husband and I have offered him to come stay with us in North Kingstown. A lot of this, what you're, with this case here, is strictly health reasons and financial. He missed an appointment today at Thunder Mist in Woonsocket. He's about to face some surgery, and um, he's not able to afford tickets and to park and try to get up three flights of stairs with a cane with his health reasons. So we're going to make arrangements for him for a better housing with my husband and I, and if we can get a little help with some financial with the tickets. So. You are really a good friend. Thank you. I try to be. This is a heartwarming thing, Inspector Quinn. Absolutely, Judge. <clears throat> he needs a friend, so we're just going to scoop him up from Providence and take him in North Kingstown and help him get going here. Oh, is he working? Ah, He's on disability, Your Honor. I had seven surgeries on prostate, knee surgery. He's facing some more surgeries. Mm, he's His going income back. is less than $800 a month. He's going, he makes 800 a month? That's what he Less gets. than 800 a month, disability. <laughs> His rent is 400 where he was staying. So it's just the car insurance, a cell phone, but it's just nothing left over. So he's kind of at his bottom right now. So, but we're going to help him out. We're going to, there's some light at the end of this tunnel. It's not all bad. We're going to be, it's going to work out. But. He has a boot on his vehicle. Yes, Your Honor. And he has 300 hours worth of tickets. So, yes, Your Honor. How much can he afford to pay today? He has absolutely nothing. I can help him on Friday. Okay. <clears throat> Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to dismiss the tickets. I'm going to <clears throat> charge him the boot fee, which the city has already paid. So I'm going to impose the boot fee of $100. Based on his circumstances, I, I can't find it. I can't, I can't find it for the tickets. Thank you, Your Honor. Inspector Quinn, you acquiesce in that. Uh, I do, Your Honor. It's eight hundred dollars a month. <clears throat> he has special health needs. So he has a great friend. So the question is, I'm going to charge him the boot fee of one hundred dollars. I'll give him all the time he needs to pay it. Okay. If he can pay ten dollars a week, five dollars a week, it doesn't make any difference. The city's been here since 1636. We're not going anywhere, right? <laughs> Thank you. So, how much can he afford to pay the boot fee? He, 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 I don't want to speak for him, but he said $25 a month, if that was possible. Uh, ask him if that's going to be too much. No, I think I can do that. Well, then don't say think. Well, do, if he's willing to go 15 all right, let's 15 
Your Honor, how about we just put it down for six months to pay, and if he has any issues or whatever, I'll give him my contact number. They can contact me. You've been so kind. Thank you. I'm going to take Inspector Quinn's recommendation, which is an excellent recommendation, Inspector Quinn, that the tickets are going to be dismissed. I'm going to impose a $100 boot fee. We're going to give him six months to pay it, so he won't have to pay it, you know, within two weeks or three weeks. If he can't pay it within six months, right, just call. Thank you so much. You know, call the court, speak to Inspector Quinn, right, and explain the circumstances. If he needs more time, we'll give him more time. Thank okay? you so much. Our best wishes go with him. Thank and I wanna, you. I want to express the court's thanks to you. You did a great service today, not Thank only to Mr. Smith, but to this court. You really did. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And you may know. I say that I love you guys? <laughs> You're supposed to say that before I make I a love you guys. No, I did. I was all, talking all, to your cameraman. Time. I says, I lo is this really Judge Capio? She's forcing me to go to a truck stop now to find a good friend like that. <laughs> find a good I, friend like I you. I worked there. We worked, we worked three jobs. Worked our whole entire lives. <laughs> good luck to you. Thank you so much. A true friend is one of the greatest blessings anyone can have. It's my hope that each and every one of you has a friend that is as kind and loyal to you as Lorraine is to Thomas. And if you do, please take a moment today to reach out and connect with them. Remember, as we get older, our circle of friends may decrease in size, but they increase in value.